All right, well, you can put away those drab colored clothes because neons are back in style and the trend is popping up everywhere in the world of fashion and beauty, both on the catwalk and on the red carpet. The world now embracing these bright new trends. I was kind of digging neon back in the 80s. Now I think I dig it even more because you can put it all different places. All right, joining us this morning, we have uh, Chris and Tracy here and they're here doing extension a lot of, along with some other lovely ladies who will be uh, models this morning. So Lilia here, she can't decide if she really wants bangs or not. So this is a great option for her. She has a gorgeous bang section that she's wearing right now. And the great thing about it is once she's tired of it, she just unclips it here. It's fastened with a really easy little clip. So we just unsnap that. And just pop it out. Because bangs pop are hard it right to commit out. to. You really have to commit to bangs. Yes, it's a big commitment. And this is a fun way to have it and just wear it for the weekend. Not permanent <laughs> at all. So when she's tired of that, she just snaps it right out. You know what? I think the guys over there are jiggling. I think they need some bangs, actually. I, I can put them in. <laughs> they, they, they want some oh, yeah, it would be a great look for you. <laughs> I don't Come on, Justin. If you want some clip-ins, it'll be a it first back? for men. Well, that I think, would be I more like he, a mother. You've got to wear it in the front. I think it would be best in the front. Best in front? I think it would be in the front. <laughs> He's, he's willing to go for that. All right, stand by, Justin. Okay. We'll have perfect hair just for you. So I've got a ponytail right here. Brittany can never decide if she wants to wear hair long or short. But with this, she can easily have a ponytail section that she's going to wear out for the night. So you easily just snap that in, and then it just wraps around here. And you can kind of disguise those short pieces underneath, right? Yes. There. And you just wrap that around. All right, well, we're working on that one. I'll let you know. You can find out. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> Justin needs on? this. <laughs> and boy. Like it. It's very, it's very becoming. <laughs> That's a good look. Keep it. Yeah, I just need some of your brain and tattoos now. <laughs> very nice. <laughs> Takes forecast high of uh, about 90 degrees. Typically, this time of year, right around 87. <laughs> Keeps getting stuck in my mouth. Beautiful look here over Stone Mountain. <laughs> I can't quit. I love it. It is a great look for me. <laughs> Temperatures. <laughs> Brandon likes that. We could get this for you too. We can get it working. Well, I feel like I fit in with the young at least now, a little bit more so, right? Temperatures now in the 70s. This is probably my new look for the weatherman in Atlanta. Beautiful awesome. here outside as we check out Midtown. Beautiful look there. Moisture will be increasing from the south. And we'll see the chance of rain actually pick up over the coming days. Maybe a few isolated storms by uh, this afternoon, generally up in the mountains. And then as we head toward uh, tomorrow evening, maybe a few more isolated storms here across metro area. Otherwise, for today, <laughs> partly cloudy and hot. And hot, Brandon. You like it. I know you do. And uh, temperatures are only going to climb over the coming days. All right, we're going to be into the low 90s as we head into the weekend. All right, uh, we're going to go to break right now. I'm going to see if I can't uh, fix this, maybe even get it to look a little bit better. And we'll be back after the break. <laughs>